Hi guys. I promised to come on this morning and give you a little information about our next craft September Craft Together video to make our little book that we always make. Um, the dates for the video are September 3rd and 17th. The 3rd will be here on my channel at 7 p.m. Central Time. The 17th will be on Lisa's channel, Lisa My Eclectic Life. Um, that channel's link will be in the description box below. And it will be on uh, September 17th at 7 p.m. Central Time. We are going to make a book inspired by a video by Kylie Koo. Um, it is the easy to make no sew junk journal. And I just came on really, I'm going to put that link to that video so you can see how it's made, everything down in the description box. But I came on to tell you what you're going to need and give you a little bit of a prep kind of thing. Um, you're going to need packaging and her book is made with different size packaging which I thought was really fun. Um, it's not a real big book. The two outside pieces need to be the largest. So whatever and you want two pieces, probably the front and back, to be the same size, I would guess. I can't imagine my covers being different sizes. Um, so you want to think about that when you're... I, I probably will even cut that down. That may be too big. But you can use food packaging. Uh, you could use... This is a flyer from the mail. Um, I've got several flyers here. Uh, this is packaging out of, um, looks like a die cut set, maybe. It's just good packaging. So, all of those things, and it doesn't all, they don't all have to be the same size. The, I am going to show you how to prep them, and that will just get you a little bit further down the road. Um, you're also going to need some fabric. The fabric that you want, um, can be whatever fabric you have but it should be reasonably sturdy this is what's going to make the hinges or spines spine of your book uh, so you want to have something that has some body or weight to it you don't want something real real thin or sheer I just don't think it's going to hold up out over time so um, whatever you need you're not going to need a lot of it um, we are probably going to tie our book with a piece of this fabric, so um, this piece is going to be long enough, but if it, you had a small piece, you could sew together something or use a piece of ribbon. You're also going to need some tacky glue. Once we get our book made, we're actually going to um, use our scraps to decorate it. So this is a good uh, use for a bunch of scraps. And um, that's always a good thing. I'm just trimming off the flaps of this piece of cardboard. And basically that's going to be one page. Okay? So you would trim up your pieces of cardboard. Get rid of the flaps. Come on now. I know I cut it. <laughs> oh, it just didn't cut right on the line is why it didn't... Um, why it didn't cut to go through. It didn't... So you're going to want all your little pieces, you know, all your little pages trimmed up, okay? And I'm not going to bore you and make you watch all of that, but here are two pages for my book. And you see, they're not the same. It's going to be fun to work with it. Now, 
the next thing I am going to do, and you do not have to prep your cardboard, but this cardboard is tends to be a little slicky and because of the inks that are on top of it. And so to make sure that things are going to stick to it, to make sure our hinges stick to it, and later all of our collaging sticks to it, I am going to sand it a little bit. This is just real fine grit. It's P220. It's real fine grit sandpaper. Nothing big. And then you'll want to wipe that mess off because I'll tell you what, it will make a big old mess. Okay? And then I'm just going to work on the next one. So it doesn't take a lot of um, sanding. It's just a little bit of sanding. We'll take just enough of that coating off. Cereal box cardboard will work too. Whatever packaging you use is going to be the size of your pages. Okay? So, and how many ever pieces of packaging is going to be the number of pages you have for your book. So that is the prep work for our September little book that we've been doing in our craft togethers. Um, like I said, it's September 3rd here on my channel. September 17th over on Lisa's channel. You need packaging. If you're going to sand it, you might want to have them trimmed and sanded. You need some fabric. And you need some tacky glue. Now I am going to put links to Kylie Koo's video so that you can see how this is done. Um, when we finish our little books, we're making the book, we're going to decorate it with our scraps. We're going to use up some of that stuff that's on our table that piles up. Um, if you have any questions, make sure to ask. Just comment down below with your questions. Otherwise, we'll see you Tuesday, September 3rd, 7 p.m. Central Time, here on my channel. Thanks a bunch. Oh, I guess it would be good if I read you a quote. This is a quote from our 1001 Ways to Creativity books. Our brains teem with thoughts and ideas that we are totally unaware of. It is the heart that plucks these jewels from the subconscious and brings them to our attention. And you guys go and have a great day. Have fun. Make some art. Bye-bye.